Now let's see something that's called an iframe. So an iframe is used to display a web page within a web page. So let's see an example. This is the i tag, sorry, the, the tag iframe. And you've got um, one attribute source um, that is, and in, within codes you've got the URL, and then you uh, have the ending tag for iframe. So let's take this example. So you've got the P's you've got here and you've got an iframe. So an iframe is, is a window within um, a web page. So you've got the source and then you can uh, indicate the width and the height. Um, so it's quite easy. So very simple. So iframe and then source, width and height as attributes. Then you've got another example. So again, source, and um, you've got the frame border here that you can uh, work on. It was zero, let's do it in three, and you've got here. And let's go something, let's go wild. And it doesn't do anything. Well, I suppose there's a limit uh, to the frame border thickness. Um, and then you can um, use iframe as a target for a link. So you can see here the um, you've got a P. Um, so because the target blah blah blah, and then you've got the P here, which is the um, three W um, W three schools, which is a link that refers to well href is um, W schools. Okay, so target is iframe. So we've learned that we can have a target which is um, underscore blank, uh, which means it's going to open a new tab when you click on the on the link. Now you can have a target equals an iframe. You can see here it comes. It is a name um, that we have created for this web page. So we start with iframe source. Then we've got a name like an ID number. Uh, for this iframe, which is iframe A. So here you can say, um, okay, the W3Schools is a link. You click on it, it is going to open this with href, this um, uh, website, and it's going to open it here in the iframe A, which is here, this, this iframe. So imagine, for example, if you had something like this, um, okay, let's say 200. Then you've got another one, which we're going to call iframe B. It's got two um, iframes, so um, when you're going to click on this, it's going to open in the iframe A. So this is what happens. If you want, you can change it and uh, open it, have it open in the uh, iframe B. And this is what happens. So um, let's say again, then click, and it opens in the i uh, in the second iframe. So it's quite uh, obvious what um, the target attribute does here. So um, the iframe is used um, very often when you have to embed. Um, multimedia files such as, um, for example, YouTube. Um, so you want a YouTube video on to appear or to be embedded in one of your web pages, you can use the iframe and um, in it you're going to have the video um, um, that you can play, that the audience can play. So, and much, much later we're going to learn about the frames. So iframe is a small frame within uh, and you can use uh, HTML frames. We're going to learn about those uh, when we're going to talk about how to um, organize um, the content within a website.